Hello again, Foster here, and I want to take a few minutes today to share some reflections on a profound conversation that's emerging in both the Occupy and Thrive movements and other ones all across the globe, and it has to do with liberty and democracy. I'll give you a little background. I've just returned recently from the Occupy Solidarity Social Forum in Olympia, Washington, where I was invited to participate and share Thrive and our solutions model and to join in numerous uh, workshops that happened over two and a half days. There were representatives from Occupy sites all over the country and from all walks of life. There were disillusioned business executives and there were homeless street musicians, there were moms, mystics, curious filmmakers, uh, you name it. What we all seem to share in common, I would say, is that we were energized uh, and we were committed to figuring out how to be effective in making a world that works for everyone. There was a beautiful spirit of observe without judging and listen to everyone. There were uh, problems discussed, um, particularly there were heated conversations about the recent vandalism in uh, Oakland and the alienation that that's caused. There was uh, productive discussions and a powerful stand taken for non-destructive non-violence. I would say that the major themes that were emerging, which are the same in the Thrive Movement, is first of all, what's really going on in the world? And secondly, how can we organize effectively to transform the situation, especially with so many issues going in so many directions at once? And finally, around what principles can we organize? And that's particularly what I want to address today. I would say that most of the Occupy activists that I talked with um, were for operating beyond the old left-right political polarity that has obviously not worked. So the question is, will Occupy be able to move beyond this box? Well, they're certainly giving it an admirable try. And this is where it gets particularly interesting to me. How do we navigate the radical next step on the path that got us here? You know, we've come from royalty to feudalism to socialist, communist, fascist dictatorship and to democracy. And it's clear to most people that democracy is the best for the most people so far, on a trajectory toward liberty and justice for all. But we're not fully there yet. One of the most crowded and energized workshops at the conference was a debate uh, scheduled between a young socialist and a young Ron Paul supporter. And what was surfacing in the very split audience, which was very energized and pouring out into the into the hallways, is that the answers are not Republican and Democrat. They're not conservative and liberal. And here's the main point I want to offer in this conversation. Principles are not the same as politics, and liberty is not the same as democracy. You know, we're taught in school and by our government that the highest ideal for relating is democracy. But what if that's actually a very dangerous misunderstanding? I believe that we have to start with liberty. There's an old saying that uh, democracy is two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner, and that liberty is a well-armed sheep disputing the vote, and there's a lot in there. Liberty involves human beings governing themselves, being sovereign citizens. Democracy, on the other hand, is a method by which decisions are reached within groups. I think in a just society, where freedom is primary, then democracy is strictly limited. And the reason for that is that free men and women may not be intruded on even if a majority of the group would decide to do so. If democracy trumps liberty, then the seed of tyranny is sown. And so-called democracy will eventually, as it has historically, destroy both liberty and democracy. So when I left the conference, I came away with the, the feeling that if the powers that want to be think that Occupy fizzled when it got cold, they're in for a big surprise. Wisely, many of these uh, activists have just gone indoors and spent their time studying and organizing. And I think what we're about to experience is the American, or more likely, the global spring. And I think it's going to be very thrilling. So check out the links at the bottom of this blog on thrivemovement.com. One of them is an article on 
Democracy versus Liberty. Another is a new document from a couple of very profound freedom fighters called the Universal Declaration of Independence that takes the old one to another whole level. Also, a number of folks have been asking for more detail uh, on the Goldman Sachs takeover of Greece that I referred to in my last video blog. So there are a couple of short videos by wonderful investigative reporters that explain all that in more detail. So till next time, remember, be informed, be nonviolent, and be relentless. See you soon.